what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it What's well, good? Hopefully everybody's enjoyed the weekend so far. Uh, things tend to go by a lot quicker during the weekends, but uh, I got to work to later on today, so I'm just going to go ahead and knock out some stuff. Uh, I haven't really covered uh, these two guys yet um, <clears throat> in any of my videos, so I figured I'd do that since uh, they are available on Global now. So this is going to be the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku as well as the uh, Super Saiyan uh, God Goku Strength version. So I'll just call one blue and one the, uh, the God. So let's just go, go ahead and cover the stats a little bit while the uh, video's running. Uh, the Strength uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku has the leader skill of plus three key attack and defense increase of 50%. Uh, Super Kamehameha is the super attack which will cause supreme damage to enemy. The passive skill will increase attack and defense by 90% and then attack increase of additional 50% when uh, facing two or more enemies. Uh, Link skills, he's got Super Saiyan, that'll add 10%. Uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, that'll add 700 to attack. Warrior Gods will add 10% to attack. Kamehameha will add 25%, uh, 2500 to uh, attack when Super Attack is launched. Uh, prepare for battle plus two key say in lineage plus one key and then fierce battle will add 15 percent to attack uh, this guy does fall into two categories realm of gods and pure sands uh, over in jp max stats uh, hp at 14,786 attack is 13,334 and defense is <coughs> 9,137 uh, 12 key multiplier is 140 percent uh, so yeah, pretty decent passive skills for, for that guy. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, Divine Power Within, Super Saiyan God Goku. So he's got uh, all types key plus 2 HP attack and defense increase of 40% as the leader skill. Uh, Dragon Smash is the super attack that will cause supreme damage to enemy and raises attack and defense by 30% for 3 turns. Uh, passive skills are attack and defense increase of 80% when performing a super attack. Uh, link skills, he's got Godly Power, 15% increase to attack. Shocking Speed will add plus 2 key. Uh, Super Saiyan adds 10% to attack. Over in a Flash will add plus 3 key. Warrior Gods will add 10% to attack. The First Awaken will add 25% to attack. And Fierce Battle will add 15% to attack as well. Uh, does fall into two categories, uh, pretty much the same as the other one. Realm of Gods and Pure Saiyans. Uh, max stats, you're looking at HP of 15,997, attack of 13,744, and defense of 8,020. 12 key multiplier is 140%. Uh, so for this guy, the Strat Super Saiyan God Goku, he'll be linked up pretty much with the um, Ultra Instinct Goku because they're pretty much like the best linking buddies. And then for the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, <clears throat> it'll be kind of like throughout... Uh, just rotating between Vegeta Blue and also the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And then here and there you'll see him linked up with the um, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, over on to, you know, the Super Saiyan God Goku though. He does link very well with the Ultra Instinct Goku because of, you know, the following links like Godly Power, uh, Warrior Gods, you know, that definitely does add up percentage-wise toward attack. So... And, you know, it is it is worth noting, these two guys with the Dokkan Awaken uh, definitely got revamped. I know, like, the strength, Super Saiyan God Goku, that was, like, one of the first units I've ever got in the game. And, you know, I mean, definitely, he was definitely obsolete at the time before the Dokkan Awaken. And ever since, um, <clears throat> you know, the Do Dokkan Awaken happened, I mean, he's, he's definitely gotten a lot stronger. So, it's nice to see old units get upgraded like that. Um, so, yeah. These guys definitely do pretty well on the Realm of Gods category team, and it would probably be interesting to see how they are on the, you know, Pure Sands uh, category team. But um, you know, they are within you know the Gods Realm type uh, units, so this uh, category team is definitely appropriate for these two guys. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I mean, here's. <laughs> I've been running into a dilemma too um, lately. Is like I want to play Dragon Ball Legends, but um, it just seems like I dedicate way too much of my time toward Dokkan. So it's really hard to find time to kind of balance between the two, and I'll just have to come up with a system that'll work. But I don't know. I guess I love Dokkan Battle way too much to 
to give up time for it. Plus, like in JP, there is just way too much to do. And you know, I don't know <clears throat> if you um, caught the la you know last few videos, but you know when I ran 450 stones on the banner, I was able to get three LR pickups. So I've been kind of going through the grind for uh, Goku Black, just you know farming the SA, and then. You know, with the the new events and story available in JP, I just been grinding. You know, the uh, tech uh, Lord Slug, and then uh, farming a bunch of the Kaioken Goku cards, and then also kind of farming the uh, Kid Gohan uh, units since um, I've got a couple units that I can raise the essay with that. So definitely been pretty busy, and uh, the weekend goes by pretty fast because of that. Um, and like I said, I do have to work later on today, so just trying to knock out some videos while I can. Uh, probably going to be busy later on, so. And and like I said, I haven't really covered these two guys in <clears throat> any of my videos. Like, I haven't really dedicated a video on either of these guys, so I figured, you know, the timing would be right since they are available on Global, and, you know, they definitely did get upgraded a lot, so <clears throat> it's, uh, it's definitely worth covering. I don't know, I'm trying to think what my favorite category is right now in the game. Um, I still really like my Super Saiyan 3 team. I think, uh, you know, Resurrected Warriors are uh, uh, one of my favorites too. I do like the Realm of Gods category. They, they've got a bunch of uh, nice units. Um, my Realm of Gods category team's okay. It's not the best, but, um, you know, it's, it's definitely up there. And um, it is worth noting that you know, for this showcase video for these two guys, I mean, it is used from uh, private server footage, so, you know, the stats are a little bit inflated. Uh, you know, potential level skills are maxed out at level 20 for everything, so a little bit of unreal unrealistic uh, tendencies with that, but it still gives you a pretty good idea of, you know, what their potentials are maxed out. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm uh, definitely busy grinding though right now. There's so much to do right now, and <laughs> picking up three LRs on top of that definitely complicated the uh, the grind a little bit. Um, not that you know, I'm very happy that I pulled three LRs. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, and I could definitely take the shortcut method and you know use a bunch of Elder Kai's and Grand Kai's to level up the SA. I mean, I could do it instantly if I wanted to, but that's. <clears throat> that's not what it's about you know what i mean like you gotta go you gotta do it the proper way and the essays that are farmable i mean you gotta do that because if you keep taking shortcuts and using elder kai's i mean eventually you're, you're gonna run out of you know elder kai's and grand kai's to use when you really need them so i don't even know how many i have i've probably got close to 50 elder kai's at least and like uh at least 30 of the uh, grand kai's total so yeah, I have plenty of them, like in abundance, to to use to raise SA if I want to. But you know, if they're farmable, I mean, I'm not gonna waste them by doing that. So yeah, that's just pretty much my philosophy about it. <clears throat> it's all about you know uh, maintaining uh, a healthy stock of supplies, really. But I mean, these guys are hitting pretty hard. Uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I mean. He's close to a mil, roughly, you know, and, and tends to hit for, like you saw there, 700,000. Um, the other Goku definitely has the higher damage output just because, um, you know, his, his super attack has the ability of attack and defense increasing by 30% um, for three turns on top of his passive increasing, you know, attack and defense by 80%. So. Uh, definitely see a difference there. Um, link skills are definitely better for this guy with, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku. I mean, you're looking at uh, Godly Power at least as an extra 15% versus <clears throat> the other Goku that only has the um, Warrior Gods uh, link skill that has 10%. So uh, probably seeing slight differences there because of uh, those two distinctive differences. But... Um, <coughs> I mean, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I mean, he's essentially um, one of those, you know, uh, what is it, World Tournament Summons available units. So, I mean, I I think for my version, I've unlocked like at least two paths. Um, haven't really used them too much. Um, 
And yeah, I mean, but he seems like a pretty good uh, unit to include on Realm of Gods category team. Uh, for those that are lacking certain units, I mean, this guy's a, a decent uh, card to include. So certainly not bad. Um, the strength Goku, I think I've got like one path unlocked. Uh, SA is still struggling. Uh, haven't maxed it out or anything. So, you know, I have to start grinding for that as well. But uh, for now, you know, I've been using like, I don't know, pretty, like pretty straightforward category teams. Like Realm of Gods team, I actually don't use a whole lot. Um, just because for me, it's been really, um, I don't know, I guess uh, the Tournament of Power team is pretty nice now. Um, the Super Saiyan 3 teams, Resurrected Warriors teams, um, and what have you. So, I mean, I still use them here and there, but just not as much. Uh, 